Increased amounts of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere mean more heat is trapped, warming the Earth. Most scientists agree that rising temperatures are caused by an increase of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, primarily carbon dioxide, fueled by mankind's consumption of fossil fuels. Is carbon dioxide an essential trace gas in the atmosphere the key driver of global temperatures? The CO2 we are putting into the atmosphere right now is going to add to warming for decades into the future. So you can get to a situation where it just, the oceans will begin to boil. Boiling the oceans? <laughs> Before we get there, let's first examine the source of all this fear, rising CO2 levels. Climate is the most complex, coupled, non-linear, chaotic system known to man. Of course there are human influences in it, nobody denies that. But what outcome will they get by fiddling with one variable at the margins? I'm sorry, it's scientific nonsense. The climate system is extremely complex. It's virtually impossible to think of doing an experiment where we'd be able to tweeze out the impact of CO2 versus the hundreds of other variables at work. Because we've only been shining our flashlight on one thing, let's see, human, carbon dioxide and aerosols, we've been neglecting a whole lot of other things like the sun's influence on climate. Is carbon dioxide the control knob? I don't see anything in the long-term geologic record to support that conclusion. CO2 is one of many, many, many variables that influence the Earth's temperature. Dr. Robert Giegenkeck chaired the Department of Earth and Environmental Science at the University of Pennsylvania. Are you afraid of rising CO2 concentration? No. No, I'm not. CO2 is not the villain that has been portrayed. CO2 is a greenhouse gas. It does trap some heat, but its ability to trap more heat declines logarithmically. This cube represents man-made CO2, a greenhouse gas. Although it can build up in the atmosphere, it's only 3.5% of all the CO2 emitted each year. The rest is natural. Water vapor makes up 95% of all greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Greenhouse gases make up only 2% of the total atmosphere. So is that one cube of man-made CO2 driving the climate? Putting a price tag on each ton of CO2 poison, of CO2 poison, of CO2 poison. CO2 is not a pollutant. It's not a poison, and we should not corrupt the English language by depriving pollutant and poison of their original meaning. We're really in a CO2 famine now. Most of the time, it's at least a thousand, you know, and it's been quite a bit higher than that. The Earth was just fine in those times. The fact that there was both higher temperatures and an ice age at a time when CO2 was 10 times higher than today fundamentally contradicts the certainty CO2 emissions are the main cause of climate change. Water is the most important greenhouse gas by far. I'm impressed by the fact that the present climate from the perspective of a geologist is very close to the coldest it's ever been. The concentration of CO2 in the atmosphere today is close to the lowest it's ever been. We are currently living on a carbon dioxide starved planet and were we to double carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, which is the figure everybody fears, that would be a small step back towards restoring the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. You can't use carbon dioxide to control the climate. The plants are growing more robustly, food crops, the trees, the forests. Earth has been getting greener and greener and greener. We're just fertilizing the plants. So the idea that doubling carbon dioxide is going to be environmentally catastrophic, it's not even wrong. It's just a silly idea. We're not dealing with a scientific issue. We haven't been dealing with a scientific issue now for 15 years. We're dealing with a determined political issue. It's a campaign cause. Here's what the temperature has 